What's up guys, it's King Tuts Pro and welcome to today's tutorial where I'll be showing you guys how to record your screen on your iPhone, your iPad and your iPod Touch. So this works with uh, pretty much any device um, as long as you have uh, OS X Yosemite and this is an awesome feature um, like they actually made it now so you can record your screen you know it's lag free so I promise you guys it's gonna there's, there won't be any lag so you guys will love this feature and thank you Apple for actually making this possible for adding it into Yosemite because that's actually really cool that I always wanted to uh, to have so to do this all you have to do is make sure you have your lightning connector or your older uh, device and now I don't know if this works for older devices but you can go ahead and tell me so if you have an iPhone 4s an iPod touch uh, I don't know fourth generation go ahead and tell me in the comments and so other people can know if it works on their device as well so just go over to applications and you want to go ahead and make sure that you open up QuickTime so that's what we're going to be using of course QuickTime is uh, pre-installed with OS 10 Yosemite so this is for free you don't have to do you don't have to download anything I promise you guys as long as you have Yosemite and the new stuff updated then you should be good to go so you want to go ahead and open this baby up and once it's up and running you won't see a window but it's gonna be in the menu bar so go over to file go and select new movie recording do not select new screen recording that's actually gonna record your screen but not the iPhone so make sure you go over to new movie recording select that and make sure your um, phone is connected to your computer via the USB connect the uh, connect uh, cable so it's mine's an iPhone 5 with a lightning connector so you can see that it says camera is off all you have to do is click this little arrow and where it says camera I'm gonna select my phone so here it is and uh, go ahead and give it a moment so this is really lag free and when you record it it comes out beautiful like it like the quality looks amazing I promise you guys so if you go right here you can see I'm actually recording with my blue Yeti or actually my built-in microphone but if I select my Yeti microphone um, I can now talk with you guys and record my iPhone screen at the same time. So if you're going to be doing videos like this or record games on it, you can do that. So you can have your mic set up and you can see I'm moving my phone around with the parallax effect. So that can, that can be kind of annoying so I can just set it on the table. Um, so it is like free. I mean, it's really smooth. So that is an awesome feature that they have added. So that's really cool. If you don't want to record audio, you can just select... Uh, an option to actually take it off but uh, you can yeah I believe or you can just record it and then in an editing software such as uh, Final Cut Pro or iMovie um, you can actually remove the audio so there's no problem there um, you can also record your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod touch um, the sound that is coming from your device so that is an awesome feature that they've added you can also select the quality you can choose high and you could choose maximum to be honest I really don't tell a difference I can't really tell a difference but you could you could select maximum but keep in mind it's gonna give you a bigger file size and I haven't I haven't tested uh, how big the file size is so I'm gonna go ahead and select high for the first couple of uh, seconds for this so you can see everything's running on my screen right now I'm going to give it a test um, so when you're ready, you can just go ahead and click record. You could also make it smaller. You can make it bigger. You can click this right here to make it full screen. So that is awesome. You can also move this out of the way. So that is an awesome feature. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to record it just like so. So now it is recording, and it's probably recording my voice as well. So it's, I can probably do a voiceover with this if I wanted to. So I can go ahead and open up an app, say Circle. It's a game I really suggest this game this game is actually pretty awesome so I'm going to close that so this is gonna be awesome for people who record gaming content on the device so that is really cool and you can see I just messed up because by the way if you're gonna be you know playing games I would not suggest you look at the screen because there's like a delay so look at your phone uh, when you're doing this and uh, I promise you guys you will do so much better in the long run so you can see I am like owning right now and I just died <laughs> So you can see my high score is 34. So if you guys want to go ahead and beat my score, tell me in the comments what your score is. So once you're done, you can just click stop right here. And you know you can play it back. So I can click play. So now it is recording and it's probably recording my voice as well. So you can hear my voice. I'm gonna turn that down. 
So I'll go ahead and play back the video. You can also make it full screen. And to be honest, this is really cool. Like I'm actually surprised when I first found out found out that they've added this. So I'm I'm watching it in full screen. There's no lag whatsoever. Um, you know, it records it at the time, so there's really no delay. Um, I mean, there is a delay when you're recording it and have it hooked up to your Mac. But uh, again, this does require a cable, so you know it's better than having it on AirPlay. And you can see how smooth that is, that thing is running. Like, holy moly! I know a lot of you guys. I've posted a video uh, where I showed you guys how to record your screen, but that was on AirPlay, and though, of course there would be lag. You have no lag whatsoever in this time, depending on how fast your phone is, of course. Uh, but overall, I mean, this thing, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Um, so when you're done, um, you have to go over to File. You have to go over to Export. You could export it in 1080p and 720p. Keep in mind, though, it's not going to come out like this, obviously. It's going to come out with the, with the black bars on the sides. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this. So... If I go over to export, I can choose, I don't know, 1080p, and then I can just click save, and then it's going to give you the export progress. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and see how big the file size is for a, what, 40, about a minute worth of, of uh, content recording on your skin. Again, I, am, I, I did record, and somebody just rang my doorbell. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly what the file size is, and I'm going to make a prediction. I say it's going to be 300 megabytes. Oh no, it's actually 33 megabytes. Wow, I'm surprised. So it keeps actually the file size pretty small. So that's great. Uh, so when you're doing long videos, you could keep the file size small. So that is awesome. And another thing I wanted to do is actually show you guys that you could actually use your camera as a thing that you could record. So it's literally um, using this, whatever is coming from your phone. So here it is. And uh, I'm going to go over to camera. I'm going to show you guys my face my lovely face what's going on guys this is me currently so yeah that is really cool though um, like you can do a lot of stuff you can go on Instagram you can play games you can also do it in landscape mode so that is even more awesome if you want to play in full screen then you're in luck because now you can and there is no delay well I mean of course there's a delay from your phone but when you record it is smooth as butter so <laughs> if this if this video helped you and you know if this really taught you something uh, to record your screen lag free then please leave a rating below um, and yeah so I will catch you guys on the next video peace out guys take care.